Hey, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've got a few things to update, so I thought I'd do a quick video here on uh, my central air system. I got tired of buying pumps. I lost two pumps in one week, the little diaphragm pumps, and I was just like, man, I just got tired of buying them, so I went ahead and called up Jemco and priced it out and started made myself a central air system. So what you're looking at right now is my pump. It's the, I think it's called the LPH or the LP45. I got it from Jemco. Um, I got a lot of my parts from Jemco and I'll talk about them as I go through. Anyways, I've got it right down here. They recommend not putting it down on the ground because of a siphon, but the way I've got my system set up, there's no possible way it could make a siphon down to here. Uh, I might move it up in the future, we'll see. But I've just got it, I have a spot right below this uh, tank here. So I thought I'll just put it there for now. They give you this connector over, I think, even up to this uh, connection. I've got it running up to three quarter inch PVC here. And they, they size that up for you and they talk, they talk to you on the phone. That's the linear piston pump there. So it goes up from there. And then I made a loop around my whole room. So I tee it off up near the ceiling. Uh, these brackets are just plumber's tape that I just folded around the pipe to fit and then screwed them into a stud. I just found the stud with my stud finder. Then I made a loop all the way around the room. And then every so often I drop the line down using their little uh, self-tapping valves. There's one. I'll just kind of give you a quick turn around the room. So over in that corner, or I'll go around all the way once one time, just made a complete loop all the way around the room back to there so we're back to square one anyways so because I only have about it, it's like a 45 outlet rated pump and I've only run it about 16 outlets uh, they told me to put a vent on it so what I did for that is I just bought the three quarter by three quarter by threaded half inch and then I got one of these it's like a sprinkler stand pipe piece of package pipe comes down to just a regular ball valve and this is where I bleed off my excess air. Um, they said if you run half, if you if I were running 20 or more outlets on it, I wouldn't need to bleed the excess air. But I don't have quite that many right now, so I'm bleeding some air off. And then I just put this piece of uh, tubing on it to act as a um, silencer. I mean, you can't hear the air coming out of this at all. You can hear that that's about how much I'm bleeding off but I've got air running in all my tanks and I don't have a, a ton of tanks in here right now but I've got air running to every one of them you can see I've got plenty of air and I've got most of them are throttled down see those there here's my pleco breeding tank I'm gonna have to do a video about that sometime um, Here's some more, kind of a grow out tank for some of my, uh, some blue angels that I've been raising. There's one of the original batch blue angels there. There's an old silver that I've raised a long time ago. But anyways, um, it was really simple. I bought 25 of these little cell tapping valves. Uh, I also bought the drill bit. It's not a standard American sized drill bit. I can't remember what it was, but it's like a three dollar drill bit from Jimco. And then I went out and bought the pipe and the fittings just at my local hardware store and put it all together. And it was just a shade under three hundred dollars is what the whole system cost me. And I, it, it can expand quite a bit more than what I'm using it for right now. So. Yeah, that's it. You just drill those holes, you put the little valves in the chuck of your drill, and you just zip them in, and it's way easy. There's lots of videos on YouTube how to do it. And I just space them out kind of evenly, and it's been awesome. There's that pump. It's pretty quiet. They say it's like silent. I would say it's about the same volume as like a standard... Uh, like a standard, oh, uh, diaphragm pump, like a small one. But it's a lot quieter in here because I was running like nine of those diaphragm pumps and now I just have 
that one um, linear piston pump. So it worked out really well for me. At any rate, there it is. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know below in the comments. Thanks.